Oh, you got out. Oh, jeez, that scared the sh out of me. Jump scares and Dexter tonight. Oh, it like, hurt my shoulder. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. It's time for some more Dexter. Where did we leave off last time? We left off in the most random place. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's right. You weren't happy with how writing's going. No, I'm not thrilled with how the writers are handling this. It's just kind of like they're like taking outlandish plot lines and mm. saying, well, it doesn't really make logical sense, but it's okay. It's still cool. Let's yeah. do it anyways. Yeah. You're noticing the change in the style, and I, I looked it up so we could talk about it. <laughs> but uh, after a record-setting season four finale, executive producer Chip Johansson, Johansson took over for Clyde Phillips as the head producer because Phillips wanted to spend more time with his family. And head writer Melissa Rosenberg... He broke his own heart that he needed to stay home and spend more time with his family. Right? <laughs> right. Crushed his own soul he with that Dexter's last family episode. Killed Dexter's family and felt like he like had to go, family's go the, home to his. Right? the most important thing. I'm going to go ha hang out with mine. Also, head writer Melissa Rosenberg left after season four as well. So Chip is the new showrunner so to speak, for season five. And that's why it feels a lot different this season. With I feel like Melissa is being is missed. I am missing Melissa's writing yeah. style. Where do you think we're going to go from here? We're halfway through season five. Lumen says there's more. Dexter says he's going to help her kill them all. How many Yeah, I think there's probably another maybe four more. Four so more? Three or four more. Yeah. I want to say three. I've, my gut is telling me three more. And I think he's going to definitely, I mean, it works out for him because he likes to kill people anyways, but she sees him for who he truly is, mm -hmm. and he's not hiding it from her, which is good for him as far as getting over the heartbreak of Rita, and, um, you know, he hasn't really had this connection with anybody since, well, kind of Lila in a weird way, and actually Miguel. I mean, he really mm -hmm. hasn't shown his true colors to anybody but Miguel ever yeah. so this is kind of you know he hasn't shown her everything but if it, it feels right i don't know it she's feels seen right enough though right she's yeah, seen him she's kill seen somebody. she knows she knows exactly who he is he opened up to her in the last episode about his family i think as so. soon as he told her his his real name when he was trying to put her on the, the airport, airplane yeah. that was like sealed the deal for me that he he trusts this this woman mm -hmm. and um i knew she wasn't going to be going anywhere so all right well should we jump right in yeah let's do it let's do it but first like, comment, subscribe. You know the routine. Come on and hang out. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our episodes, full-length commentaries, access to our polls, and more. Links down below. Check it out. Let's watch some more Dexter. It's been over a month since I freed Lumen from Boyd's. Oh, geez. But she's still reliving it every day. Hey, some more. You're very controlling. He's really not that controlling, though, in, in general. And then he'd lean in and whisper, tick, tick, tick. That's the sound of your life running out. Okay. Anyone else? Suit and tie. That's two. Mm-hmm. Suit guy. Does he look familiar? Does he? We're doing this together. Lumen, what I do, I do alone. I don't need a partner. Yeah, he's already tried that once. <laughs> Didn't work out well. How many bodies we got there? Dexter said there was five. I know, but is he got two or three in the back of his truck? All like five? He's got all five. No. I feel like I'm dropping off my prom date, and I have no idea where Lumen fits into my world, and this is all so weird. Exactly like my prom. <laughs> of course, he would get hit by another car, and now bodies are going to be going all over the place. That's either a saint or the most boring action figure I've ever seen. <laughs> Is that yours? It's St. Bridget. I mean, we don't have to live here. We can get a new place together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm homicide. I don't do traffic accidents. 
Wow. Uh, text me the address. Yeah, you're gonna want to do this one. <laughs> Can we at least drive in together? Or? Yeah, and then we'll go to Disney World. We'll ride all the roller coasters and we'll hold hands. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> He's like, huh? Hey, Sergeant, what do we got? You haven't been listening to the news? Uh, weather channel, high pressure system coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised he wasn't listening to marching band music. And her. The girls in the barrels, how could this be? Someone tried to move them. It's the blood guy. We got no blood. We don't know what we've got. Yeah, what is this gunk? Well, don't step in it. Why? An embalming agent. Attack with the formalin. That's what's on your shoe. Congealed organ. <laughs> Sucker. I'm guessing. They're covered in bruises, contusions, whip marks. Looks like they went through some special kind of hell. Hmm. Running. But that's as detailed as the description gets. Some guy. That means he's still mine to find. Not driving his own pickup or... One man's suit jacket, size 40. Folded very nicely, huh? Women's suit jacket. Isn't that what he said? It did kind of sound like that, but I don't That's. I don't think that's what he said. You're never going to guess who this truck is registered to. Jordan Chase. Jordan Chase is a very smart guy. Hmm. Limitations on myself. I mean, I've listened to all his CDs. He's a rapist and a murderer. First off, that jacket is nice, but not that nice. Jordan wears nothing but the best. That's part of his thing. If you think you deserve something, then take it. I guess it's not a woman's jacket. I thought Masuka said it was a woman's jacket. It did kind of sound like that. Listen, I heard about this two bedroom place on Brickell. Up a unit right on the water. I thought we could take a look. This is not a workplace conversation, so please just shut up. All I'm saying is, is this place. Two bedroom, you could be roommates. It's fine. That wasn't the guy. Was it? Was he the guy? Who's with him? Oh, yeah. I, I took one of your seminars at, at, the, at the beach club a while back. Sure. In Palmetto Bay. You remember. Of course I do. He looks pretty Ethics good for just having his ass. He, uh, he keeps the crazies away. <laughs> Why don't you let me get a picture of you two? Oh yeah, X. Uh, one more. Got it. Jordan Chase. Dexter Morgan. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice watch. Oh, uh, my dad gave it to me when I was a teenager. What do you think about Cole? Guilty as charged. Oh, he hasn't been charged yet. It's hard to imagine someone like him or his people be involved in something like this. Or it's completely expected, right? <laughs> that they would be trying to get away with raping and murdering women. And Could be. Rest. Fingerprints? They're all coals, even on the ignition key. I think he's just become the focus of our investigation. And Jordan? Is that about What's going on, Miss Detective? It's like a high profile sex trafficking ring these gentlemen all have their way with these they share these young beautiful women that's not unheard of is it no not unheard of do you know this man oh my god he's the that's one him. what about him <sighs> no i I mean, that guy's clearly a freak, but... <laughs> Not Masuka. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before they're all in the hands of the police. When this is Florida, we execute here. These men will be brought to justice. You can walk away from all of this now and put it behind you. Or released on good behavior a decade from now. That's not what I want. I promise you the police will take care of it. No, I don't want the police to take care of it. I... Neither does he. He's just... <laughs> How much coffee are you drinking? A lot. I have to stay awake. What if they come for me at night? This is all I think about. Don't back out now. This is important to me. Truth is, I actually want to help her. I like Julia Stiles. I would not be mad if she was like a recurring character for the next few seasons. Anything that ties you to this place, they're gonna want to know what your relationship to Boyd Fowler is. How you got here. How you got out. 
Oh, jeez, that scared the s*** out of me. God. <laughs> Ugh. Jump scares and Dexter tonight. Oh, like, hurt my shoulder. I'll be with you. This is not gonna go well for her. God. You okay? We can leave. No. Why with the harsh noises? Why would they clean up the blood? I feel like the, the blood would... Yeah, but it wasn't actual blood, so they can't get DNA off of it. It's just an imprint of what that blood was there. So, like, that actually goes in his advantage. Because if they go and find evidence of blood, then they know that there was foul play there. So I don't know. Whatever. Boyd Fowler. He was one of your stalkers. Had to escort him off the premises a few times. It was clearly a bit off, but uh, he never struck me as dangerous. He's dangerous. They don't know he's dead, though. Is that where Cole Harmon lives? He's a bad man. I'm gonna try to find out who the rest of his bad man friends are. I wonder how much longer I'm gonna be able to talk to you like this, and you're gonna start to understand me. Yeah, probably shouldn't keep doing it for very much longer. Times and since dear Bridget has always been a comfort to me, I thought Harrison might feel the same. I hope for his sake you, you'd reconsider. Yeah, let her let her have this, sure. Dexter. <laughs> what are you wearing tonight? To the big stakeout? Um, a diaper, probably. <laughs> I'll have to sit in that van with Batista for hours. Will you please not wear that awful shirt with the patterns all over it? It really makes me dizzy. <laughs> no, I uh, only wore that as a joke. I might have to employ some methods just a little bit unorthodox. And for that, you're going to have to pay. If you're backing off this thing because you're porking that guy's sister, I'd say you get your priorities as a cop all wrong. I don't like him. I don't think you're supposed to like him. Well, the writers are doing something right, I guess. Getting this? Loud and clear. I can hear you. Looks like we're all in place. The waiter's got her leopard print on. Mm. No, you're staying here. What? This is too dangerous. I have no idea what's inside there. I mean, you can be the lookout. Oh, she's not gonna listen. If you see anything, call me. Well, she had some walkie talkies. <laughs> uh oh. Does he recognize her? He's calling me over. No, keep moving. Ignore him. This is Lieutenant Lugwood, the officer Menzo. Go to him. Make nice. And try to get him to step inside the club. Lieutenant, no, this is a problem. These guys are dangerous. Stand down, Morgan. She's in charge. Get chingados. Anthony, pistola! Policia, mata la puta! Come on! Holy f***ing s***! Drop the gun now! Or you again. Shoot him. Drop the gun right now. <laughs> that a girl. That a girl. It's okay. Where's the brother? Cole is a teenager. One, two, three, four, five. Who the f are you? Oopsie. We have to go before he sees our faces. And that made you come crashing through a window? I know, I know. I just had a feeling. Was <laughs> she wasn't going to listen to you, anyways. It's Cole. And Boyd. And Dan the dentist. It's them from like 15 years ago. Do you recognize One, anyone? two, three, four, five. So what do we do next? <laughs> what? You said we. <laughs> Put on your seatbelt. Yeah, he's been known to fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I know it looks bad, and it is bad. Yeah, she made a bad call. In the heat of battle, all cops make occasional mistakes in judgment. Excuse me? Oh yeah, it was a bad if call. mistakes were made, they most certainly were not mine. He was so relaxed and happy, I couldn't bear to move. And I have to admit, he feels quite good. He's just the sweetest little pumpkin. Look at him. 
Oh, he likes her. Sometimes partners find us, and as much as we try to push them away, they work their way into our lives regardless, until we finally realize how much we need them. All right. All right. I like the direction that's going. I appreciate a little partnership there. Mm -hmm. So what'd you think went down there at the nightclub? LaGuardia made a bad call. You don't send a carrying cop to sit with some gentlemen who are obviously going to try and get in her pants, right? Like, why else does a gentleman at the club call you to hang out at his private table? What have you, what, what would you have done differently in that situation? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I would have handled the situation, but I damn sure would not have let my... I felt like I wouldn't have sent anybody that was with me. That, exactly. Right? No, yeah. You just the wait. Informant or that cop. Observe. Right? See what happens. Yeah. Find the other entrance and cover it. Right. right. So any other thoughts? No. no. No, I don't think so. I did call five, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Should we jump in the next episode? So yeah, let's Figure do out that. who that fifth guy is? For sure. All right, let's watch the next episode of Dexter. We are born primal. Take it. But we shall be delivered! Seize the power of instinct! Look at all those men. Is there no women there? There's a couple women there, but mostly men. I've never been around so many people that made me feel normal. <laughs> Counsel, isn't it true the victim's families have filed a civil lawsuit? Let me through. Excuse me. Two people are dead. Carlos Fuentes and two girls. Nobody's crying about Carlos. Fuentes is a scumbag. Yeah, he's a scumbag that I shot and killed. And? Yeah, good for you, man. Don't tell me you feel bad about killing. I don't. That's a problem. I don't feel like it's a problem. <laughs> Do you know who your brother is? <laughs> You're all going to die. Some of us sooner than others. Some of us sooner than others. And if you're not in touch with your primal self... Jeez, he's going to be like, oh my god. Mr. Morgan, Cole Harmon. I'm sure you remember me. Mr. Chase spotted you from the stage. He's very interested in speaking with you. Okay. When? How about right now? Uh-oh. Are they on to him? No. Are you sure they're not taking him? Yeah. I think I know why you're here. You do. You're searching for a way to cope with your loss. I know your history, Dexter. I thought I recognized you when we met at the station, but your wife was murdered. Yes. They any closer to catching Trinity? Not that I'm aware of. I followed that case very closely, yes. I have to be honest, he fascinated me on a deep level. What else do Jordan and I have in common? Mm, I can yes, imagine I... your frustration knowing he's out there, unpunished. They're trying to recruit him. There's a little something in there for Harrison. That's uncomfortable. What is it? The fact that he knows his kid's name is uncomfortable. Uh -oh. Not what's in the bag. <laughs> okay. They've been researching him. Probably read the obituary. Hmm. Rita. Could be. Directions precipitated. She wasn't even supposed to be there. I tried to take her off and you wouldn't let me. That's your impression. No, that's what happened. We were all there together. So why can't we just hold tight and weather the f storm together? Loyalty. I love Deb. When are you gonna do it? Tomorrow. I booked a room right next to Cole's. You're gonna do it in the hotel? No choice. So... Tomorrow night's the night. Supplies. One o'clock would be better. Just so I have enough time to shop. Sure. And then I started listening to one of your CDs. The primal self? I started listening in the car on the way to work. Three weeks later, I met my soulmate, and now we have a baby on the way. <laughs> that guy's with that chick? No f***ing way. Think that's a plan? <laughs> like, <laughs> the plan of them in the crowd? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure. I'll have to do this in the dark. Fourteen steps to the pillow, give him the needle and drag him to my room. Sixty seconds tops. 
it's Jordan. pictures of Jordan on his nightstand? They're best friends. That's still weird. A, to take pictures with you to a hotel at all. B, for them to be your <laughs> boss. Like, that's just stupid. Miami suits you. Where's Not so much. Look at her. Mavis? Mark's grandmother. I like that name. I don't know who your sources are, but I can confirm that Detective Morgan was in charge of the operation. She's blaming everything on me. Is it true that Detective Morgan has been placed on disciplinary leave? As of today, she's being placed on immediate suspension with Tay. We're actually friends. Deb, wait. You can't let her throw me under the bus and drive over me. Then back up a few times and drive off. Oh, Oh, sh You just hit my car. I was distracted. I don't want cash. We'll do this on the up and up, because that's the kind of guy I am. Mm-hmm. We're going to prepare the room together. It's just your word against mine and everybody else that was there. Some people don't agree with your version of the events. Who would you get to lie for you? Batista. I actually thought that you being with Batista might make you a nicer person. I never expected you to eat him alive. Well, Gorda's being a over her own people just to save her own ass. Boyd wasn't your first. You've been doing this a long time. Uh oh. Stay here. That was a really loud orgasm. That is for dramatic effect. Just steer clear of the service elevator. Okay. I, I can't believe it. What? She slept. I actually slept. She felt safe with Dexter. Robocop's back. Want some more cash? I smoke coffee. Now's not a good time. Well, it is for me. Not a name. Lumen Pierce. Lumen. Stupid <laughs> name. Cole starting his rounds. He'll reach the service elevator in five minutes. In three minutes, so will I. There's someone in this room who is dealing with that very question. Dexter Morgan. Oops. Oh no. Dexter works with Miami Metro. She's gonna see Cole. Yes. I'm gonna ask you to do something, Dexter, and it's gonna be very difficult. I want you to relive that moment. Or not. What is this kid doing? Keep going. Tell me how you found her. Please. I'd come home after work. I remember walking through the house. It's like time actually slowed down. I saw my son sitting in blood. He was crying. That hunger is your primal self. You must open your heart and listen to what he's saying. Many people, after suffering a tragedy, Mr. spend the rest of their lives as broken beings. But you have to be open to hearing the message, are you? Yes. Then you've just taken your first step toward happiness. <laughs> Get off that stage and go get Lumen. Oh my god. Dexter better get another bit gift basket for doing that. He's gonna be... Oh god. The adjoining room. The adjoining room. The adjoining room. Oh God! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Come on, Dexter! <laughs> Scared the freaking bejesus out of me. <laughs> Got a reaction similar to like the freaking Conjuring, or uh, I don't know. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th something, yeah. He's 
said I'd done this before, that's true. This is who I am. Miguel couldn't. My father couldn't. Is Lumen what will make me whole? I'm gonna do whatever it takes to set the record straight. I thought you were backing LaGuardia's story. No, I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I decided I'm, I'm backing you. You're flesh and blood to me, like my kid sister, but better because I actually like you. <laughs> Damn. It's okay. Good for Angel. He always wants to do the right thing. He's such a good cop. Is everything okay? It's nothing important, just a little security glitch. Like your chief of security's head is in my luggage. <laughs> I want to thank you for coming on stage. It's what I tell my clients. Tick, tick, tick. That's the sound of your life running out. My primal instincts were right. Jordan's yep. one of them. Well, duh. All five of the ones in that picture. Jordan Chase is one of them, I'm sure of it. Tick, tick, tick. But he wasn't in the photo. Yeah. Maybe he took the photo. Huh? Oh, he wasn't in the photo? We're gonna take down Jordan Chase. So there might be another one? Was I wrong? I did say five or six, but... Great! Super! Yeah. Robocop. Do they does there always have to be a catch Dexter storyline involved? Like can't they just give Dexter a season where he just does his thing and it's not a let's catch Dexter. Let's get I a new premise. There's always a risk of getting caught when you're doing Yeah, but like could we just not have it be one of the cops he works with or whatever. It's getting a little old. So what do you think of the last two episodes? They're really making a connection, he and Lumen. Yeah. And I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. What do you think of Jordan Chase? Total douchebag, right? Yeah. Take it. Yeah, that whole concept's really f <laughs> Inviting a guy that witnessed his wife's murdered body to talk about it on stage in front of hundreds of people. Yeah. How's that? help the person it doesn't yeah it doesn't even again with the story of the, uh, with the writing like it doesn't even really fit into the concept of take it yeah right your primal self yeah, yeah. it's a bit of a stretch <laughs> what about okay. what's going on with deb i i'm annoyed with that storyline because yeah. deb's a great f detective and it just doesn't like uh, i don't i don't i'm annoyed that they threw this in like Oh, let's get Deb kicked out of her job. And then now we're just going to watch Deb's kind of spiral a little and try to get back on track. But that's annoying. Yeah. Which people comment on? If you were a motivational speaker, such as Jordan Chase, his is take it. What would yours be? Yeah. Do you have mo like a motivational slogan you'd shoot for? I know what Deb's would be. F*** it. F*** it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Just roll with it. Right? There you go. Mine? Happens. Yeah. It happens. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. Like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna keep watching Dexter till we finish this season, and then we'll watch the next one. We have four episodes left in season five. Well, like three and a quarter, three and a third, until we get caught up and ready for season nine. That's right. Yep. We'll be there by September. Is that yep, what we that's thought? That's the plan. Hopefully before uh, the new season comes out in the fall. So yeah, Dexter until at least September. Yeah. If you want early access to these episodes, full-length commentaries, and more, check out our Patreon link down below. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.